first and foremost, we realized that in the setting of insulin resistance, there's a whole constellation of abnormalities that travel with the insulin resistance. And if you look at each component of those abnormalities, essentially all of them have been associated with atherosclerosis, so low HDL, elevated triglycerides, um, the hypertension that we see, coagulopathy that's been suggested, the increased adiposity that's seen in insulin resistance, uh, which can be associated with the abnormal handling of glucose, and postprandial dyslipidemia and hyperglycemia, these all seem to uh, cluster together around insulin resistance. And all of those um, uh, factors and parameters contribute to atherosclerosis. And so I think that's probably the most um, straightforward way that we can link insulin resistance and atherosclerosis because so many of the aspects of insulin resistance are also factors that promote atherosclerosis.